everyone. I wanted to share a layout with you today that um, I ended up designing based upon a Studio Calico sketch. And it was a two-page sketch. And so I had gotten this idea from one of the Studio Calico cards that I had. And it says AM, PM. And I, I don't know what kit it's from. I think it's a little bit older. But anyway, I decided, oh, my dogs are always sleeping. So that would be the perfect card to kind of um, launch a layout about my dogs and you know talk about how they're always sleeping and I actually had a really fun time going through all of my pictures from like a year or two ago even and finding pictures of my dogs laying in funny positions um, and just it was just a funny experience so I picked out two different papers. The first one came with the Studio Calico kit from, I don't know, it's a couple months ago, a month ago, I don't know. Um, and then the striped paper that you see over there on the right hand side is from the Dear Lizzie Polka Dot Party Collection. And I also had that blue paper that I cut down and I wanted to frame it on that um, regular paper. And even though it looks white in the video, it's almost like a linen type um, print. So, um, I just kind of wanted to show that off and have it not be completely white, but, um, have some color on there. So I'm just going to glue that page down because I know that's how I want it. And, um, one thing that really helped me on this layout was that there were so many photos and that it was a two page layout. So it worked out kind of perfect that that I had had this idea brewing in the back of my mind. And then I was able to have so many pictures due to that layout or that sketch I should say. So I'm gonna mainly work on this first page and I had so many photos that I ended up leaving some off because I just had too many even though they were all three by four photos and um, I think two by two photos or three by threes I can't remember what the Instagram size are um, but I just pulled a bunch of stuff from my stash. You can see I have washi tape and Heidi Swap stuff. This is a mask from Studio Calico that I'm going to use to bring in some outlining. I'm not going to use mist. I'm going to outline it with my pen. And one thing, um, I strayed pretty far from the sketch. I will try to remember to put a picture of it up on my blog or maybe at the beginning of the video so you can see it a little bit better than on the iPad there. Um, but the one reason why I always show it to you on the iPad is because I keep it by my side for a reference for my for my own use. Um, so I like the way that mask came out. I felt like it just added a little something to the background since the background was um, no patterns or textures or anything. And um, like I kind of said before, I really strayed pretty far from the layout. I mostly took from the sketch that it was two pages and it had several photos but that's essentially where it ended. So I pulled out some of these letter stickers from the color wash collection from Pink Paisley and I really loved that whole line, the whole color wash line. I could have bought two of everything in the whole line probably. I got the stamps and these stickers, their, their letter stickers and I'm really trying to make the title work and I, I'm still not sure that I'm 100% happy with how the title turned out and um, I don't like the title itself always sleeping um, but I do like the color on there so obviously it's that's just the way it's gonna be from now on <laughs> so um, one thing that I definitely wanted, I was going to pull in some gold and then I was going to try to keep in some of that like corally peach color. And I brought that in with the color wash stickers and the Heidi Swap collection has a little bit of it in it. So that's, that's what I felt like I wanted to use. And I brought in some gold with the washi tape and some of those Heidi Swap letter like word stickers. So in this old Project Life mini kit box. I keep my Heidi Swap embellishments. They're 
the embellishment kit, ephemera kit, and there were so many small pieces that it just didn't work keeping it in the bag, so I put it in that box, and it's worked out really well, actually, for just keeping that stuff together. I also have some of those letter stickers from Studio Calico and some paper from my stash that happened to be the color that I wanted, but um, I not, didn't end up actually using those letter stickers because they just didn't really work. The colors didn't work, and they were a little bit too small. I honestly have to say, as excited as I was about those Studio Calico letters, I still haven't found a project to use those on. And I think it is just because they're too small, and I don't think they have numbers on them, so that kind of is a problem as well, even though they have some symbols on there. But anyway, um, I cut this tag off because I liked the coral color, but I didn't necessarily like the bottom. I liked that it said you are here, but I didn't need the like the destination or train looking type ticket. Um, so I just cut it off, and that's one thing that I always used to struggle with was I didn't want to cut something apart, or I didn't want to cut something off, even if I didn't like the whole thing. But I've gotten over that, and I like my scrapbooking so much better for it. So if you're scared to cut something in half or cut something off, don't be, just give it a shot. So on the back of this card, I was just testing out um, different colors that I wanted to use on the layout. And I ended up going with that kind of um, fuchsia light plum color there and I really like the way this card turned out. I just used that Tim Holtz water brush and those watercolors from Michaels and I just colored in the letters up top and then I picked a different color for the letters on the bottom. And this was actually pretty quick. The cardstock was fairly thick. I don't know if it was actually watercolor cardstock or not, but the paints held up really, really well. And I really ended up liking the way that AM and PM card turned out. And that was kind of what I wanted to be, you know, that was the jumping off point and it was what I wanted the layout to be about was it doesn't matter whether it's the AM or PM, they're always sleeping. So I wish that I would have made that even more of a central focus on this layout, but um like I said, I like the colors. I tried to use that bright yellow to kind of get that gold feel and bring that in, but I'm not sure that I really accomplished it. I not really very good at working with color schemes. Um, I try really hard, but I find that I don't always have the perfect thing to to match, or I don't have a very good eye for what matches or what colors go together. So I just kind of go with what I like, and sometimes it works out, and sometimes it clashes. But I'm okay with that. I did go a little outside of the lines a couple times on that AM PM card, but um, I was able to wipe a little bit of it away, and it doesn't really matter to me. And I ended up peeling that coral piece off because it didn't really go with the colors that I ended up choosing. And I just made sure to put a lot of extra adhesive on there because it kind of wanted to peel up. So then I'm going through these Heidi Swap stickers because there's a lot of the sayings and I wanted to use the silver to bring in that glitteriness. I really wanted to use the gold but I just didn't find something on there that I absolutely loved. So I put love this on there, and that's in the silver. And I honestly thought I would use a lot more gold on the second page to kind of tie them both together. But you will end up seeing what happens with the second page. Um, here in just a minute. So I've got my stamps out here. And this um, little clock, little alarm clock, came in one of the Heidi Swap stamp sets. And I thought that was perfect because it's all about time and AM, PM. So um, I was really excited that one of those stamps worked with the layout that I was doing. And I really need to get those stamps out because they just work with Project Life and they're so small and they're so cute and I just need to work with them a little bit more. Um, in another one of my mini kit, Project Life mini kit albums, or let me start over. In another one of those mini Project Life boxes, I keep my rub-ons. Um, I tried to keep them in the original packaging, but when you're cutting the papers apart to get to the rub-on part that you want, um, you've got all these little pieces. And so I just I have started keeping them in a box, and it worked really well. So I'll have to show you guys how I store it just so you can see it clearly. 
Um, and here I stamped that Darling from the Amy Tangerine stamp set. And it didn't stamp perfectly. Um, this is before I got my new stamp press from Fiskars. So I'm hoping that it'll stamp a little bit better the next time, but we'll see how that goes. So I'm just going to put a little bit of journaling down here at the bottom. And that's going to be it for the first page. So when it comes to the second page, I'm going to speed this up really, really quick because um, I got everything the way I wanted it. I pulled out some different ephemera, some different things from past kits, and I was pretty sure I knew exactly how I wanted my pictures to be. So I glued them all down right away. I pulled out a lot of these rub-ons from Maggie Holmes and I put them all over the page. And um, I'm going to give you a little bit of a spoiler alert and say that I really hated the way this layout turned out. And I hated it so bad that I ended up shutting off the camera and walking away. I was trying to do a technique from the stitched class where I'm going to show you how I pierced some holes into a paper to outline that paper. And I ended up hating that too. So this video is going to stop pretty abruptly and I'm going to put up a picture and show you um, how the layout turned out. And then I actually redid the second page um, and felt like it was totally separate and I'm going to show you guys that in a separate video. So this is real life scrapbooking. So thanks so much for watching guys. See you soon.